Kelly and welcome back to Me More TV. Today we're shooting a video for my segment Paleo with Pros, but it's a slight twist because this is Adam. Hello everyone. Adam is actually my personal trainer, but he used to be a professional chef. So I mm -hmm. thought, you know what, why not get you into my kitchen, see if you really can cook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, that's a test. That's the test we're going to do. <laughs> but what is it? What are we cooking today? Okay, so today we're going to cook a pancetta wrapped chicken leg stuffed with some sun dried tomatoes, some curly kale with a classic ratatouille. And that is 100% paleo, right? 100. Yes. So, what you need for this recipe is nine large cherry tomatoes, two and a half handful of curly kale, 125 grams of pancetta, one aubergine, one onion. 120 grams of sun-dried tomatoes, smoked paprika, one tablespoon, three, garlic cloves, red peppers, green peppers, two chilies, and two chicken legs. How did you prepare these chicken legs? Okay, so we had a whole chicken, okay, remove the legs from the chicken, and then from there you just cut out the bone, once you cut the bone, you move all the sinew, you put it in between two layers of clean film with a little bit of olive oil to stop it from sticking, and you just tenderize by bashing it out. And you used a, what was it? Should we just say cleaver? A meat cleaver. And oh, you just use. Nice. <laughs> okay, we just use Not a so simple. Tough now, are ya? <laughs> we use the big boy. <laughs> we just use a simple rolling pin, okay? Just to level it out. Reason being for this is you get it all at one level, okay, so it cooks evenly. And so if you don't know how to do this at home or you don't want to do it at home, you can you can just get the, get it prepared like this from the butcher? Of course, you just go to your local butchers, just ask them what you want, just say I want the chicken leg, I want the leg and thigh, make sure you say that together, and then they'll just remove the bone for you. Okay, so we're going to do one wrapped with pancetta, okay? And for those who don't like pork, we can just do it without, with just a simple chicken skin. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to start with the tomato sauce first, okay? So from there, you're just going to put it to medium heat, and get your teaspoon of coconut oil just there just wait for it to melt down and then once that's melted okay just bring up to temp then you can start by sweating off your onion and garlic so what we're going to do we're just going to gently sweat this off okay now the difference between sweating and sauteing is sweating you cook it slow so it just maintains the shape and it doesn't get any color in on there and we don't want any color for the sauce so now that the onions have been sweating off okay we're going to add the chopped garlic I see, just gonna give it a quick little stir just to combine them all together. You smell, smell it, it's amazing, huh? You can leave the cookout gently for about five minutes just to soften up the onion and cook the garlic so that flavour in it there. So now we're gonna start with the chilies. So you just add a little bit of heat, a little bit of colour as well. So two chilies go in. It's very important that you add everything bits by bits because some stuff will cook take a lot faster to cook than others. Okay, so now that the veg has been cooking off for five minutes, what you're gonna do, okay, we're gonna now add our tomato puree. Just one tablespoon. Okay, so now you're just gonna gently mix it in. Oh, it's gonna taste very nice. It's very important you cook out the tomato paste, otherwise it gets a little bit too oily. You wanna cook out the tomato flavor. We're gonna add roughly about one teaspoon of smoked paprika. What this does is it just enhances the flavor and it brings out the characteristics of the sauce. It's very important you cook out all your spices first. Okay, very, very important, because what that does, it releases all the flavor. If you add it in after, you won't get much of the flavor. It's really worth it. Oh yeah, <laughs> not just a pretty face. Yeah, not even that. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, shots fired. You wait for Lance to get you back to the gym. I'm gonna be in pain tomorrow, I know <laughs> yeah. that. Just wanna add your chopped cherry tomatoes. Just give it a quick little mix. Okay, and you don't want to stir it too much because you want them to retain their shape. So right there. Okay, now it's very good. What you can do, you can use tin tomatoes if, you, if you're not really sure with it, but I like to use fresh produce. And by using the fresh tomatoes, it just gives it a little bit more earthiness to it. Okay, so we'll leave it for 10 minutes, okay? And we're going to start with the chicken now. Finish off the ratatouille. We'll cook it a la minute, which is a French term for last minute. Okay, just to keep the bite and retain its shape. So now it's time for the chicken. Okay, so what we want to do first off, okay, you just want to put down a sheet of clean foam. Okay, you want to leave it on the roll because we're going to need to roll it after. That's going to create like, kind of like a skin for a chicken. So instead of the chicken skin, we have the pancetta. It seals in more, more flavor and also keeps the chicken moist. So it's, it acts like a coat. And then what we'll do, we'll fry it off after. You're my sous chef now, Kenny. It's going to take the chicken legs. Okay, just going to put it right across. 
that this is the one that we tenderize and remove the skin. Okay, so now that we've got the chicken leg laid on top of the pancetta. Can I ask, can, could I use, I prefer breast. Could I use breast for this dish? Breast of course, can. same principle. All you've got to do is butterfly the chicken, just to spread it out. Same principle, just bash it out and then you can use that instead. So what I'm going to get is my sous chef Kenny here. Okay, so now she's just going to put a thin layer of the sun-dried tomatoes. Just, that's it, right in the center. It's, it's the same line going down, almost like a cylinder shape, because it's going to be rolled. Is that enough? That's perfect. Okay, and then now we're just going to put a little bit of the kale, okay, just for color and texture inside. Now you, what, what did you do to the kale? So we're going to use, we're using blanched kale, get a boiling water and always have an ice cold water with, with water and ice just ready for the blanching. And what you do is you put the veg in there. The kale probably take about less than 30 seconds. Okay, so blanch is a quick, boiling quick boiling water, quick cook. It's just as al dente, which is another term for still a bite. Okay, and then you're just gonna put that into cold water just to stop it from cooking. Oh. So it still retains the color and the shape. So I'm gonna ask Kelly, just add some seasoning to it. Okay, just want to season just where the chicken legs are. Okay, so you don't need to season the bacon because yeah. it's a little bit salty, but you must always season inside. Why? Reason being just to add flavor, because once you cook, you won't be able to add it after that inside the chicken. Okay. That's perfect. Just a little bit of pepper? Or? Just a little bit of cracked pepper. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Mm -hmm. And now we're ready to roll. Just gently roll it. Okay. Doesn't matter if there's a little bit showing because the pancetta, what that would do, that will cover it up. Okay, so just gonna roll it up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so right there. From there, what you do is you shift it down. Okay, mm -hmm. just slightly cover up the edges. You can use the back of a knife or the blade, just be careful. So right there, just flick it on there just so it sticks. And this is the reason why it's nice and thin to use to use the pancetta because if you use streaky bacon, it'll be quite hard. Okay, so there. And now all you're gonna do is just roll. Okay, don't worry about the edges because it's all gonna be sealed. You always leave a little bit of the edge just to help it with the roll. Well, so it's very important you pull it towards you and tight, okay? And as you pull it towards you, just gonna keep pulling it, pulling it, pulling it, reel it off. Okay, now you're gonna use a lot of clean film but it doesn't matter because the end result is going to be perfect. So what you want to do, is going to pull it, roll it, okay? And what it is like an airlock, so while it cooks, it holds all the flavor because what we're going to do doing is poaching. Okay, just use the edge of the knife. Or if you're cooking for yourself, you can use your teeth. <laughs> okay, so right there, do the other side, roll it. I'm actually a little bit in awe right now. <laughs> Why are you, why are you a you personal go. trainer? Just thought I'd mix things up. Jeez. Just thought I'd mix things up. There we go. And there you have it. Okay, so now that the sauce is cooking, okay, very nice over here. It's been 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Just gonna add a little bit more water. How much? Okay, just a couple drops. Oh. Perfect, okay. Just to loosen up a little bit, I'm yeah. just gonna leave it to cook for another 10 minutes again. Okay. Do you know what? I was thinking the kids are going to love this. I'm not sharing with them. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's all for me. For me. It's for mama. <laughs> Okay, so now that we've taken the chicken out of the fridge, it's been rested and nice and firm, just going to put it in a pot of water, okay? It's just gently simmering, okay? And what we're going to do, we're going to poach it. So all we do now is just leave the chicken in there for about 15 to 20 minutes, okay? On a gentle heat. And while that's on, what we're going to do now, we're going to start with the veg. Okay, so the aubergine, also known as eggplant, okay, that will go in first because it's full of water. Okay, so you need to get the pan nice and hot. You throw that in there, crisp it up, and then for every veg, you drain it. So you drain the oil, oh. okay, just to get the pan nice and hot. Then in goes the courgettes after. Again, remove them from the pan, drain the oil. You can always use them again. So you're frying these? You were frying them. I thought we just threw them all into the same pan. You, you can do, but with the aubergines, okay, because it's full of water, it will go really mushy and it can taint the way everything tastes. So you just hold, you just crisp it just to give it a little bit more of a bite to it, mm -hmm. a little bit more flavor. To finish off, just add the two peppers. You can add them together. Okay, so now it's onto the veg for the ratatouille. Okay, so you just, we just got one teaspoon of coconut oil in there. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the aubergines from there. Just gonna add in half to start off with. Okay, so you don't wanna crowd the pan. Okay, so right there, give it a little shake. Right here, it's soaked up quite a lot of the, the coconut oil. Okay, it's just going to leave that to cook out just a little bit. And then we're going to add a little bit of salt just to bring out some of the waters. All we want to do, we don't want to cook the veg, just want to give it a little bit of colouring because it's still going back into the sauce. So as you can see here, now that it's nice and golden brown, it's still al dente, so it's still got a little bit of bite to it. Okay, just got a little bit of colour. 
So don't worry about using too much oil because at the end of the day, we're just going to drain it anyway. So now we're going to start with the courgettes. Okay, exact same principle as the aubergines. Again, we don't want to overcrowd the pan. You can add a little bit of pepper. Now with the courgettes, they'll, they will caramelize, okay, which is getting the brown color a little bit faster than the aubergines. Reason means it's got left water. Let's strain that. So from there, you can go straight in with the peppers. Okay, so this is the final stage. Okay, so let's expose the peppers. Get a nice little seal on there. Okay, sauce is almost done. Just come off the heat now. A little bit of season. Ready now? Give a little, little toss, a little turn. There you go. Oh, just tilt it towards you and then flick. Oh, there you go. Oh, <laughs> almost, it's almost there. There you go, just a slight little tilt. And just pull it towards you. Shall I try and go really high just for the camera? <laughs> okay, so now the peppers, you just need them to cook for about five minutes because they're a little bit harder than the other veg. Just need it to break down and then you add the sauce and then we add it all together. Did you just say mixture and stir? Yeah, so I, I, worked, I worked in mixture and stir as well. Um, I've done that for a couple of years. So I worked at Brocket Hall as well, which was a, a golf, a private member's golf club. From there, I just went from five star restaurants Five star hotels, um, two rosettes. So yeah, I've been I've been I've been around for nine years in the business, and here I am, down, best of both. <laughs> okay, now the peppers are cooking. Just gonna turn on the heat. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit of that nice sauce. Okay, what you want with ratatouille? You just want it to coat the vegetables. You don't want it to be quite stewy. You want it to coat the vegetables. Okay, so there, just gonna mix it in. So perfect. So just gonna leave that to cook just for about a minute or so. We're gonna add. The aubergine and courgettes. Just to avoid it from mashing, you're just gonna leave it now. Just in a gentle heat and just to cook for another two to three minutes and then we're finished. Now that the chicken's been cooking for about 15 minutes, okay, you leave it to rest. When you leave it to rest, what it does, it just relaxes the meat, okay, so it's not too tough. If you take it straight out and start to cook it, it would just go a little bit, a little bit chewy. All that juice is in there, that's all the chicken juice, okay? So because we've wrapped it nice and tight with a clean film, it's also retained its shape so it hasn't curled. And just that it's just sealed in all the chicken juices. So should I, would you use that as like a chicken stock? You can use it into a stock. If you're making a sauce, you can cut it and use it. Ideally, I wouldn't use the pancetta one just because it's got the taste of the bacon as well. There we go. So that's all the juices. If you wanted to, you can put it in the in the ratatouille. There we go. So that's all the flavouring from the chicken. That's it. So just get the pan nice, smoking hot. Just add a little bit of the coconut oil. Okay, again, all you're going to do is just a quick seal. Okay, so what we do, we do the normal chicken one first. So right there. Okay, all we're looking for is a nice golden, golden brown surface. Okay, all we're doing is just a quick seal because the chicken's already cooked, it's already tender. So as you can see, as I'm heating it up as well in the pan, it's not opening up and that's all because you wrapped it nice and tight. So well done, Chef Kelly. You know, now that you've done this with me, you, you're going to have to come back again. That wasn't in the job description. <laughs> okay, so now the normal chicken one's done. Let's put it right there, just to rest again. Okay, now for the bacon one, all you've got to do is just look where we finished the roll, okay, which is there, just the ridges. That can peel off when you heat it up. So what you want to do, just want to get that corner first, and then you seal that first before anything else. Okay, if you don't do that, what will happen is it will just unravel. And all that good work me and Kelly put into this, it will be gone. We can't have that. We can't, we can't we have that. We worked too hard, Adam. So all you've got to do now is just roll it till it's crispy. The good thing about this one, once it's sealed there, you kind of roll it about and just keep keep basting it. So as you can see where it's sealed, all you've got to do now is just like a rotisserie, baby. Like a rotisserie, you just keep rolling. Come on, there you baby. go. <laughs> That's like me. Everything pops off. Doing my ab workout. It's Russian twist. We're meant to be professional here, Kelly. No, we're not. You are. It's meant to be paler than pros. Hey, hey. I'm just an ordinary guy, okay? This is all a bluff. So enough, enough of the playing around, Kenny. He asks for my help, and hey. then he just takes over. I always the help not to play. <laughs> okay, so now we're almost ready. Got about another minute left. It's nice and crispy. Oh, that looks great, doesn't it? Yeah. How good does that look? No, I'm gonna get my sous chef, Kelly, okay, to plate up the ratatouille. So, the chicken, again, you have to respect the shape of the chicken, okay? So it's that nice respect. little singer, respect. Okay, again, if you want to show off, just cut it at different angles, okay? And that, you always save a piece for the chef, okay? Then you can go there just to show it off. I love it, look at that. There we go. I'm mixing 
mixing it up, Ooh. Fifi. I'm mixing it up. Chef Cow Cow. Oh, oh, look at that. I'm oh, good, you got one slot. Oh, looks better than mine, I'm jealous. Boom! Hey, Boom. get back. Get back. Boom! Hold on, hold on. I'm ready. Sue Chef makes head chef. <laughs> Oh, please let this work, please let this work. Yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay, so look at that beautiful. There, there we go. Beautiful. It is still a bit edge to it. <laughs> look at that. That's, that's what I was meant to do. I was just doing portion control. <laughs> Can I swear? <laughs> it's so freaking good. <laughs> Boom! That is so good. Get back in here, chef. Tastes quite <laughs> Tastes quite different, you know, with the with the pancetta and without the pancetta. Love both. Which one? You, which one? You I prefer? probably prefer with the pancetta because yeah, I love bacon. It's a little bit more moist. Yeah. It's it a little bit more. Oh. A little bit more flavour. And also, okay, so this the leftover ratatouille. Mm -hmm. Um, you mentioned before I can have it cold. Yeah, so the good thing about ratatouille, you can have it in dish on its own, or you can have it cold, warm, room temperature, or hot. Okay, well I am seriously blown away. I, I really am blown away <laughs> how good you are. Oh, so yeah, actually, everyone believes me now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe. <laughs> um, honestly, because you're such a good trainer, mm -hmm. you know, and you Thank push you. me to my limits, and you've really helped me get my sort of body and mind back in shape. Don't know what you're trying to do to my body now. <laughs> <laughs> this is 100% paleo, and of course it is a little bit more gourmet because Adam is a professional chef. <laughs> so if you've enjoyed this, remember I make lots of other videos on paleo. I also do beauty and lifestyle, so make sure you um, subscribe and click on the notification bell if you don't want to miss out on any of my videos. And if you'd like to see more of Adam on my Paleo with Pros, please just um, put that in the comments. And you can find me on social media at memore.tv. You know, it is with a professional mm. chef, so it's a little There's bit no more... There's no carbohydrates. I'm just talking. Oh, fine. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> right, it's a bit soon. Oh no, you don't have to do that yet. Because you're going to do that one first. <laughs> trying really hard you're to, trying. <laughs> to feel... To I feel wanted in the kitchen. <laughs>